नमस्ते व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू उज्ञान देगुला चैनल इन दिस वीडियो टॉक वी विल सी व्हाट इज अन्नमय कोश मच अबाउट मोर देन अबाउट फाइव थाउजेंड इयर्स ए गो this uh, koshas are defined in taitreya upanishad i think taitreya upanishads annamaya pranamaya vignanamaya anandamaya like this you know five koshas five uh, this body the physical body is been uh, like you know how it feels and then uh, its characteristics are divided into five divisions five uh, koshas actually sheets we can call them as sheets so a see philosophically scientifically and then very systematically very very systematically they have uh, like you know divided or bifurcated these uh, characteristics into five sheets and uh, uh, it's like you know in the ayurvedic tradition in the uh, a scientific uh, way of uh, in 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 the scientific way they have defined all these things so let us go to this and then understand what is annamaya kosha but before that i request you to please like share and then subscribe to my channel this is a physical layer gross body you know what we see physical layer of our existence of our be we can call it as of our be in the vedanta particularly in the vedanta our existence our means uh, uh, actually the existence of a human body existence of a being was described was uh, described as having five uh, koshas five layers they represent different aspects of our existence from physical body this is the physical body to our deepest spiritual uh, self spiritual be see very systematically they have done it the annamaya kosha particularly what we are going to see today in this video is the annamaya kosha is the outermost existence outermost and uh, some you can call it as tangible you can feel that you can touch that you can see that you can uh, smell that the existence uh, you can just hear the uh, all those kinds of things you know all tangible layer most tangible layer this is also as you can call it as physical sheet also so now this annamaya kosha is a layer of our existence that is made of a physical body the term anna term anna comes from anna meaning food anna means actually rice food highlighting that this particular sheet is made up of is nourished by what we consume of course the consumption can be through mouth through uh, in the form of air in the form of oxygen in the what we call it as oxygen nowadays you know in the form of good air through uh, inhaling all this comes you know from annamaya this is uh, it is formed out of food it is the grossest of the five koshas meaning is the most materialistic in nature and easily observable aspect of our uh, existence it is observable of course this annamaya kosha this entire thing you know it is composed of uh, 
what we call panchabhutas are five elements five basic elements one is uh, vayu vayu means uh, you can call it as air or you can call it as some kind of a gaseous uh, substance of course we breathe air we breathe out air we hold that breathe uh, breath in air it is there in many parts you know it is there air this is the first element the second element is fire agni vayu agni agni means fire fire means uh, uh, temperature you can say it has temperature we do have some temperature na the science also the present day modern science also says some 98.6 degree something like that you know it says you know um, the body temperature should be uh, so that it will be um, it should not come down or it should go up otherwise you get fever so this fire you can feel many times you know you can feel that uh, agni you can feel that heat in you so this annamaya kosha consists of air fire agni the third one is earth prithvi prithvi means whatever we eat it is in the form of bones it is in the form of uh, flesh it is in the form of uh, skin it is in the form of uh, 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 what do you call this um, nails uh, hair all these things are some kind of uh, uh, prithvi some kind of earthly things things which are found on the earth things which are found in uh, in and around this is prithvi tatva har prithvi this is also you, you can uh, possibly feel everything earth so air fire earth and space akasha now uh, see now we occupy some space na in whichever form you are in which whatever form you are you occupy some space you are a part of space of course a very 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 mini 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 school uh, part but you your shape is you know it, your shape you know it is in the space so this space is called as akasha then the last one you know they said water jala apaha prithvi apastejo vayu rakashat this is the uh, term that is uh, said in uh, this uh, pancha bhutas this water means even modern science says also says that uh, i think about 80 or 90% percent of our uh, this thing is water Uh, and everything is uh, in the film of liquid everything is in the form of uh, water so all these elements they have assimilated come together integrated and to form what we observe as skin flesh bones eyes ears tongue teeth all these things so that means essentially our entire physical body from the uh, what we call we may call it as tiniest cells to the larger organs largest organs like uh, all this uh, we have you know limbs uh, uh, legs uh, stomach all these things is a part of annamaya kosha this is how 5000 years back they had defined what is annamaya kosha how they defined this body this gross body now this uh, annamaya kosha is sustained by food without food you cannot uh, survive it will not survive maybe at the most you know 20 30 days you could uh, of course you not even 20 30 days without water and air you can simply uh, this can get destroyed so annamaya kosha is sustained by food and this gives necessary nourishments nutrients to keep our body functioning 
whatever movements whatever talk whatever uh, seeing all those things whatever all the actions that we take uh, perform na this anna is required to perform all these functions that is why it is called as food sheet or annamaya kosha without that you know all these things will uh, fail to function maybe as long as some uh, uh, something is there in the stomach something is there still that energy is there it will work after that it will go away so the next aspect of this is birth and death this physical layer is subject to birth subject to death so when we are born when a baby is born it is born when intact with all this sheath and eventually eventually it is the born the baby is born with this uh, intact na all these five elements are there in the mother's womb all these five elements you know they join together so okay it is in a different fashion and then he, they all form a, a baby which is a small uh, replica of a human by it is there and when this dies when a man dies when an elderly man whoever dies you know it disintegrates after our death so it goes away it disintegrates like you know if you put it into the, into the this thing you know what uh, if you bury it one by one one by one you know they get disintegrated first water you know it goes out first year or uh, something like you know all uh, and they all get disintegrated at the end you get only some kind of a uh, a bones and things like that maybe after some time when you burn uh, even those bones are also burnt and then you don't even have that ash also some that something like that it goes so that means it is temporary and constantly changing as we grow age and heal asti it is there janma mrutyu jara vyadhi all these things happen to this janma it grows it it is born mrutyu it dies jara getting old older that means growing uh, you know jara vyadhi vyadhi means it is affected by health Uh, ills and all those things this is another aspect now there is one more aspect to this this is identification of the body when we live through this annamaya kosha we often identify ourselves solely with our physical body so whenever somebody says who are you i am so and so that means immediately you pictureize that person's uh, figure it is there in the memory so identify ourselves so solely with our physical body seeing ourselves as just skin flesh bones the shape of the um, body the shape of the um, uh, like you know face all these things are seen this identification Uh, can make us forget our deeper spiritual self this is another angle in which you know your identification is being a so like you know it can we can forget also that uh, oh we are uh, we always think that oh this is we are we then we are this, i am i i am the that ego you know it comes in incidentally there are millions and millions of uh, uh, humans uh, not only humans all uh, this uh, what do you call um, in the uh, world there are so many things even animals also you know, they all look alike but there is a slight difference humans millions and millions are there billions rather crores and crores they all have the same structure where the head it should be it is there where the body should be there it is there but 
each one is different distinctively different from the other he is not same that is the nature's uh, like you know beauty very astonishing now we will next go to this uh, health and disease of this gross of this panchakosha of this basic panchakosha annamaya kosha particularly in ayurveda an imbalance in the body's energies that is doshas vata kapha pitta vata pitta kapha this affects the annamaya kosha if there is an imbalance you know from the uh, health point of view from the ayurvedic health point of view this doshas tridoshas you know call it they call it as vata pitta kapha there is an imbalance there is our body experiences illness maintaining a balance through diet lifestyle and natural remedies is essential for physical health anyway now let us go to certain things beyond the physical that is higher kosha there are other koshas also there are uh, uh, naturally this pranamaya kosha energy uh, related to force and vitality manomaya it is related to mental sheath connected to our thoughts and emotions vignanamaya link to our intellectual and wisdom dhanandamaya blissful state or represents pure joy and spiritual bliss we'll go through each one of them in different uh, uh, videos so but these layers all they work together annamaya kosha is not entirely different from other uh, four koshas four uh, sheets you know which we will go through in the other videos they all work together influencing each other and overall well be while the annamaya kosha deals with the uh, physical physical aspect of this uh, our existence the other koshas address the energetic mental intellectual and spiritual aspects of our existence now uh to look at the historical angle the concept of koshas has been integral to hindu philosophy and ayurveda also it gives a comprehensive understanding of human health and well being by recognizing the different layers of our existence we can work towards achieving harmony and balance in all aspects of life this is one angle in which we can cut it now if you look at the modern implications sir in today's fast paced world stress and unhealthy lifestyles can disturb the balance of the annamaya kosha because what the whatever food we eat you know it is not uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, mistakes that this leads to physical ailments by focusing on balanced nutrition regular exercise and mindful living we can maintain a health in this health and this physical sheath intact additionally understanding that our true self extends beyond the physical body can lead to a more fulfilling and peaceful life so viewers to conclude this annamaya kosha is a foundation of our physical existence this is the basic thing representing our body and its needs it is nourished by food and is subject to cycles of birth and death that means it will one day die and it is born again it is easy to uh, identify solely with our physical form recognizing the deeper layers of our being can lead to greater self awareness and holistic well being so now by maintaining the health and uh, health of the annamaya kosha and nurturing the other koshas we can achieve a balanced and harmonious life this is all about um, uh annamaya kosha viewers i think the information provided is quite uh, interesting so these are all uh, thoughts from our land thoughts from our indian uh, subcontinent particularly uh, uh, the india uh, these are all the knowledge these are all the wisdoms which are given by our ancient uh, traditions 
which are still very very apt and very very logical and very very um, uh, they are acceptable they are, they are not you cannot just discount them and it is it is more scientific also so uh, as uh, from uh, this uh, land we should know what it is and then it is quite interesting to know all these things and then therefore we request the, the viewers to go through these things and then uh, uh, like share and then subscribe to our channel so that we we want to produce more and more number of videos of this nature describing uh, our ancient uh, wisdom our ancient culture our ancient thoughts our ancient uh, um, uh, like uh, these things so with this we conclude please like share and then subscribe to our channel thank you viewers